try this. You come home from school, toss your books on the shelves, and say, hey, Mom, I'm gay. <laughs> and then I call you to scrape her off the ceiling? Well, so you, 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 you can go for the subtle approach. Plaster your walls with pictures of Melissa Etheridge and Ellen. <laughs> Leo, you're so not helping me. Well, I think you're underestimating Erica. And just so you know, I'm basing this on TV and movies. Not personal experience, but... You know, I, I think that Erica wants what most mothers want. Just for you to fit in and be happy. Her idea of happiness has nothing to do with who I am, Leo. I mean, she's so clueless. She actually thinks that I have a thing for you. Oh, please. I'm every mother's nightmare. But you gotta admit, I'm kind of cute. In a hetero kind of way, yeah. You know, honey lamb, your mother may not be as retro as you think. I mean, she moves in the fashion world. She, she lives in a gay mecca. You know her, her personal assistant, Val? He's gay. Yeah, I bet you she would say that some of her best friends are gay. But her daughter? No way. Oh, come on, Greenlee. You can't possibly think you know my own daughter better than I do. You might be, uh, unpleasantly surprised. Oh, yes, because you're her best friend, aren't you? Greenlee, you're not even her type. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But it doesn't always take one to know one, if you know what I mean. No, I, I really don't have a clue. Miss Mike, if you have something to say about my niece, why don't you just come on and say it? Well, I hate to pop your balloon, but you are bound to find out. Find out what? Erica, your daughter has been deceiving you. Deceiving me how? She's not real keen on being the female half of the young enchantment couple. That's it? Look, I obviously know that my daughter has some reservations about the campaign. That's just nerves. Thank you. What's more than just a case of the Jim Jams? She doesn't like you, Erica. She doesn't live for the spotlight or see herself as the center of the universe. She didn't inherit your mat and killer instincts either. Heads don't turn when she walks into the room. Men don't throw themselves at her feet. And women don't have to restrain their husbands and boyfriends. My niece is a beautiful young woman in her own right. She's cute, but she doesn't have the right look or the savvy to be a spokesmodel. No, she has something much more important. She has a natural, youthful quality. A doe-eyed innocence. Just like Bambi. Oh, Greenlee, you are so jealous of Bianca and her lifestyle. That is so not true. <laughs> I just hit a nerve, didn't I? You are so jealous of her relationship with Leo. And the fact that now she's going to be spending 24-7 with him, and you are going to be so out of the loop. The Young Enchantment campaign is going to fall flat on its butt. Because no one's going to believe that a girl like Bianca could attract a babe like Leo. They're together now, having a great evening. They're together now, having a great evening. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Erica. Your daughter's having a gay old time. You know, Banks, once the shock wears off, your mother's gonna get over the fact that you're gay. I wish she could be like you, Leo. I mean, you didn't blink when you heard. Yeah, I grew up in Europe. Their approach to sexuality is a lot more liberated. Yeah, but what would you do if... your mom came out and told you that she was gay? <laughs> Vanessa? God, I'd have to warn America to lock up their wives and daughters. But what am I going to do when the next high school dance comes along, Leo? Oh, we'll, we'll re-team. That was kind of a kooky kind of fun. But you can't be my cover forever. Yeah, and you can't pretend to, to, to like boys just to make your mother happy. You'll, you'd be miserable. So, I... I guess I have no choice. I, I just have to tell her. Worst case scenario. Your mother pulls a mommy dearest, butchers the rose garden, and locks in your room until they find a, a cure for your disease. She's gonna flip. I can handle that. Then what? You're
afraid she's going to send you one of those shrinks that the, the deprogrammed gays? I'm afraid if my mom finds out that I'm gay, she's not going to love me anymore, Leo. Bianca. There is no way your mother would ever stop loving you. How do you know? Because I have a mother line of my own. Vanessa is nothing like my mom, Leo. I mean, she wouldn't care if you told her that you were gay. Care? She'd be ecstatic. She would never have to share me with another woman. I just... I don't want to disappoint my mom, Leo. I, I want to make her happy. I don't want to let her down. I mean, she's already had so many disappointments in her life. You're not one of them, Bianca. No. She thinks that she loves me unconditionally, but it's not true. She has so many conditions. Like, this one time she came to visit me in Seattle, and I had gotten this really short, stupid haircut, and she hated it. I swear, it was like I had taken a scissor to her own head. She actually wanted to buy me a wig. <laughs> and I, I couldn't get her to calm down until I explained to her that it would grow out. But I'm not going to grow out of being gay. And so all the dreams that she has for me are ruined. Of course she has dreams for you, but your dreams count just as much as hers. I don't think I have any dreams, Oh, Leo. come on, Bianca. That's ridiculous. Everybody has dreams. Big ones, like, uh, like driving a race car at Le Mans. And little ones, like, I don't know, whatever life's equivalent is of those little mints on your pillow at bedtime. My dream is that my mother will always look at me with love, but I know that's impossible. Why? Because I know my mother, Leo. Once you do something to let her down or disappoint her, it's like you're completely off her list, banished from her life. It's the way it was with my dad and all of her ex-husbands, and I know for a fact that she hasn't spoken to Kendall since she moved to Florida. Who's Kendall? My half-sister. Huh. Wow, she never even mentioned Kendall before. Like she never even existed. Kendall was my sister who was conceived when my mother was raped. There you go. Kendall reminds your mother of pain that she'd rather forget. But it's different for you. You were conceived out of love. You're always going to be her little girl. Her little girl who loves other girls. You know, Leo, there's somebody else that I'm really worried about. What if Greenlee tells everybody that I'm gay? What if she tells my mother before no, I'm ready? Don't worry about that. I'm going to make sure that Greenlee shuts her mouth. Which reminds me. I told her that I was going to meet her at the SOS a while ago. You want to come with? No, I don't think so. I think that I've had enough fun for one day. I'm going to head home. I'll drive you. It's okay. I'd rather walk. All right, well, make sure you call me when you get home. Call me on my cell phone. Okay. Hey. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Don't talk to strangers. Leo, I was waiting for you at SOS. I was talking to Bianca. She just went home. What's going on? Party boring or what? No. The joint was jumping. We ran into Erica. God tell me you didn't mention Bianca in the gay bar. Hmm. Let's review the scorecard, Leo. You got mad because you thought I didn't believe in you. Let my granddad buy you up. Now you think I'm a double red sink. Are we even or what? Brindy, stop playing games with me. Did you tell Erica about Bianca? Please tell me that I can trust you. You can trust me with your life. 
And Bianca's. Her secret's safe with me. Aren't I the best? <gasps> God, don't you ever scare me like that again. Mm, I could have told Erica. And actually, I wanted to. She's always been so nasty to me. Well, what stopped you? You did. I stuck to the high road. Even though it almost gave me a nosebleed, because I knew it's what you'd want me to do. Yeah, well, reaching new heights can always be a scary thing. Thank you for protecting Bianca. Well, how out of touch am I? That snippy little Greenlee Smythe insinuating all those things about Bianca and how unhappy she is. Look, if I were you, I'd consider the source and just try to forget about it. Oh, I would like to. I know I should. But how can I? I mean, Bianca never opens up to me. And where is Leo with Bianca? Leo should have had Bianca home by Erica, now. I'm sure they just stopped off for a bite to eat after the dance. Bianca is on curfew. Leo knows that. And Leo also knows that if he tries to get amorous, you would skin him alive and I would hold him down while you did it. Oh, honey. Hi. 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 How was the dance? Hi, huh? I was okay. Well, where's Leo? Um, he wanted to party with Greenlee. Oh, well, you know, when you're right, you're right. Listen, it's past my bedtime. I gotta go. Come here. Mwah. We'll see Good you both morning. soon, okay? Bye-bye. Well, honey, sit down here. Sit down here, honey, and tell me all about your evening. I would uh, rather hear about yours. Well, I went dancing with Uncle Jack to um, SOS. I ran into Greenlee Smythe. Bianca, she told me something about you that I wish she hadn't. So I need to ask you, is it true? Because if it is, we're in big trouble. <laughs> 